Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12, Psalms chapter 7 verse 6, and John chapter 8 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for this word. Thank you for triumph in you Lord God. Thank you for showing us the steps to overcome and then holding our hand all the way through it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter three, verse 12. Take care, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart, leading you to fall away from the living God. All right. And so, you know, you can't fall away unless you are once near. And so a lot of people from this verse, they derive other things and you know, you can't fall away unless you were once near. So that's what I, where I take from it and, and what I see, I feel like the Holy Spirit is shown. So it says, take care brothers. So that means that we need to be sober. We need to be vigilant. Our adversary, the devil is walking around seeking whom he may devour, right? He, he's not playing a game. He's trying to take your life right? And so it's saying, take care, you know, be alert, be vigilant, be sober, keep that armor on. It says, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart. So obviously here, the enemy has something to do with us falling away, right? Something has happened, maybe some dullness um, in, in the word, um, not, not forsaking um, the fellowshipping of yourselves, whatever it is, it's caused the heart to have an issue with the faith muscle, right? And so it's an unbelieving heart. So what is it not believing? It is not believing that Christ is soon to return, not believing that God is who he is said he was and that he can do all the things that he said he can do through you, right? Um, not believing in, in your prayer life anymore, right? Um, praying and, and thinking it may come to pass or it may not. That's, you can't, that's unbelieving. We have to believe, we have to stand firm in faith and, and we put our trust in God. Amen. All right. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Psalms chapter seven, verse six, arise, O Lord, in your anger, lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awake for me. You have appointed a judgment. All right. And so here, you know, this is showing us a major benefit of, of staying with God, of keeping with God. What is it that you're not his enemy, right? You're no longer his enemy. You're no longer on the enemy side. Um, it says, arise, O Lord, in your anger. We can call upon him and have him handle situations because we're on his side. That's a benefit. That's a great benefit, right? It says, arise, O Lord, in your anger, lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awake for me, you have appointed a judgment. So God has a judgment appointed. He knows when it's coming. He knows um, who was on his side and who was not. And we just have to put our trust in him. Amen. All right, you guys. So third verse that the Lord gave me was the scri uh, John chapter eight, verse three. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and placing her in the midst. All right. And we know, so this woman was the woman where Christ started writing in the ground and they wanted him to cast the first stone. They wanted him to condemn her. They wanted him to just do whatever to her um, because they were conspiring anyway um, to kill him. And so, um, it says they, the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and placing her in the midst. And so, you know, as they placed her down, you know, Christ did not condemn her. Right. And so we need to remember the thing I felt like Holy Spirit was saying, 
We need to remember where we come from. We need to remember where Christ saved us from, right? Our All of our situations are like this woman. Why? Because we're all cast down to the feet of perfection. We're all cast down to a, a God who has not sinned. And so he lifts us up. He does not condemn us. And he he tells us to look around and see who's around that's going to condemn you, right? It, no one. And so we have to put our hope and our trust in him that he is well able to perform everything that he said he would and that he is our savior fully and truthfully. He is everything we need. Amen. And so um, the with the three of them together, um, I felt like the Lord was saying, don't fall away. Um, don't fall away from him. You have many benefits, right? You have many benefits to staying near him. And, and one of them is the fact that you're not his enemy, right? Um, and then also um, John chapter eight, verse three, the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and placing her in the midst. And that is just, I felt like it was saying, where did you come from? right? Where you remember what it is that God has brought you from and through into. He is a God who is so faithful. And we just have to know that, you know, even when we're looking back at our past and and we see how low we were, he loved us then, he loves us now, and he wants us to stay with him. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for causing us to just triumph and and do well in our lives, Lord Jesus. Forgive us for all of our sins. Um, Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, creating us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and, and show us how to live for you better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.